Students, lot of time still remaining in E2021. We expect the exam to happen in June end or July beginning, which means around 140 days remaining. And one thing which should continuously, which might be continuously bothering you is, is all is well, your preparation is going well, or all is bad, and your preparation is not going well. I want to explain to you how you can evaluate how your preparation is going based on what you should be doing at this time as per me. Okay? So first thing which I want to tell you is, NEED 2021 is expected in June end or July beginning, which means around 140 days remain. This is what I expect. NTA is not announced, but this is what I expect. Second thing is don't spend time just practicing questions because a lot of time still remains in NEED 2021. You can't spend 140 days just practicing questions. So you have to do everything, theory as well as question practice and mock test, all the three things. So if you are doing following things, then all is well. This is how you can evaluate and I'm going to show you certain screenshots which you should take and that will continuously guide you how to organize your preparation and get the maximum out of these 140 days that are remaining so that there is significant improvement in your score when need 2021 happens compared to what you are getting right now. A, you should be setting 14 day micro target. B, you should be getting properly ready for the mock test so that you score well in the mock test. When you score well in the mock test, as I've said again and again, your confidence will go up and you will carry that confidence in the NEET exam. And second thing is you should focus on fixing your weak areas which you identify out of your mock test. So what does setting 14 day micro target mean? You know you have on neatprep.com micro target setting facility available. So what you need to do is you need to set 14 day micro target. You need to decide which chapters to complete and which chapters to revise. If you have completed, let's say 70, 80 chapters, you will have 16, 17 chapters remaining to complete, but you would spend the remaining time in two weeks before the mock test revising the chapters which you have already completed, right? So for example, you take 10 chapters to complete, right? Out of that 10 chapters, six chapters, you have not done six chapters to complete and four chapters to revise, correct? Okay, so what you need to do after that, you have set 14 day target, today is 19th, you set a 14 day target and what you're going to do is you have identified these 10 chapters, I will show you how to set the target again. And what does chapter completion means? Watch videos and take notes, read NCRT, practice questions, these questions, greater than 50% correct and from NCRT. Don't waste your time solving questions of difficulty level which is irrelevant with respect to the kind of paper NTA is setting now, right? And at the end of 14 days, you will get a test of these 10 chapters or whatever number of chapters you have put in your target. I'll show you how it happens, right? Now, this could be uh, chapters which are as per our test series or it could be chapters which you want to focus on, doesn't matter. But you will get a test at the end of these 14 days. So this is the first thing that, that needs to happen. You need to set 14 day micro target. You need to set 14 day micro target. Take a screenshot of it. Next, how to get ready for the mock test. I said it again and again. I will keep saying it again and again till the time your NEET exam happens. And you would know that we provided you the right framework in which you should prepare. First thing, you set 14 day micro target. I explained to you how you do it. After that, 15 to 20 hours of revision before the mock test. Very important, before the mock test, revise everything again, whatever is going to come in the mock test so that you don't forget. You prepared well, you did not revise, your mock test is going to be bad. But you prepared well, you revise, you will remember things, you will do well in the mock test, then write three hours of mock test. After that, two to four hours of post-mortem, so that you know what your weak areas are. You found out, these questions I got wrong in physics and chemistry, that means this area is weak. You watch the video uh, in our test series, Videos are available for physics and chemistry questions. Audios are available for biology questions. You did your post-mortem. You identified your weak areas. Before uh, next mock test, fix your weak areas. Use videos of short duration revision course and use the DPP generator that we have provided you. All of this, the link of all of these things, target setting, short duration revision course, everything else, uh, else is available in the description of the video. Now let me show you how to set target, right? 
very very important that you set target even i everyone in our organization sets target otherwise we will not be able to give you everything that we keep providing you very regularly right so for example in chemistry you say to yourself okay in chemistry i am going to study equilibrium study i am going to uh, study redox reaction and i am going to revise hydrocarbons very good then you go to zoology in zoology i am going to study animal kingdom and i am going to revise biomolecule okay you go to physics in physics you say to yourself that i am going to study semiconductor electronics i am going to study nuclei i am not going to revise anything and uh, in botany you say to yourself i am going to study biological classification i am going to study plant kingdom and i am going to revise photosynthesis in higher plants very good there is a next button at the bottom click here so we pro provide some recommended duration change it based on what you feel comfortable you say i want more time for equilibrium very good i want more time for redox reaction very good i want animal kingdom is okay semiconductor electronics i want more time okay nuclei this is okay 6 hours biological classification 12 hours plant kingdom 10 hours okay for revision i require 5 hours only for hydrocarbons and uh, biomolecules i require again 5 hours is enough photosynthesis 6 hours is enough okay very good now you will get a test on uh, you say 14 days later i want a test on 5th march and you set a target that i am going to score 550 in this very good click on next and this is how you set your target without setting target you would become lazy you would not feel the pressure and you would not be disciplined very very important that you maintain the discipline 14 days 140 days remaining which means you can set 10 micro targets and you would have significant improvement in your performance if you go this way because now you have the short term discipline not the long term discipline not the dreams i am going to get into aims Delhi. all of that is fine right now focus only on 14 day micro target and the test you are going to get on the date 5th march and you will try and score at least 550 next target uh, next micro target try and target 560 marks or 570 or 580 whatever you want to do whatever you want to feel comfortable with okay now come to course content these are all the things which you can use while you have set the target and now you are preparing i told you watch videos and take notes read ncrt practice questions mock test all of this is available here flashcards you want to use you want to create dpps to fix your weak areas all of this is available now so students focus 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 so coming back i want to tell you again if so you have taken screenshots hopefully if you are doing these three things your preparation is going well and if you are skipping any of these things which i have explained here you would not feel comfortable you will not get confidence i want to tell you again a lot of time still remains in need 2021 you can have significant improvement in your scores have confidence in yourself and prepare methodically you have to do these three things people who crack neat exam are disciplined around these three things only they set micro targets they finish that micro target after that they get ready for mock test they revise before it after mock test they identify what their weak areas are and before next mock test they, uh, they fix those weak areas so these are the three things i have written if you are uh, doing these three things all is well otherwise you would not feel comfortable all the links are there in video description if you want to join any of these things uh, target setting test series question bank short duration revision course but i want comment from you in the comment section did you understand what I'm trying to say? If you did not understand anything, please let me know. I will try and answer that question in the comment section. All right, students.